In this video, we are going to talk about glycogenolysis. If we break the word glycogenolysis, we get glycogen plus lysis. That means lysis of glycogen. So what is glycogen? Glycogen is a storage material of animal body. Animal body stores glucose as glycogen. It is a polymer of glucose. When we eat carbohydrate-rich food, the food gets broken down in our intestine and it breaks down into glucose molecules. Then the glucose gets absorbed in the bloodstream. Our body stores the excess glucose as glycogen. The glycogen is stored in muscle and the liver cells. During fasting, when the blood glucose level drops, the glycogen gets converted into glucose to make up the glucose level in the blood. When glucose level drops, the pancreas releases a hormone called glucagon, which causes glycogenolysis in the liver. And also another hormone is released by adrenal glands. This hormone is epinephrine hormone released by adrenal glands. The epinephrine hormone causes glycogenolysis in muscle cells. Now let's come to the process of glycogenolysis. So we have the glycogen. Glycogen is a polymer of glucose. It is a branch structure, that is, it has linear chains where we have 1,4 glycosidic bonds and it also has some branches which has 1,6 glycosidic bonds. At first, the enzyme glycogen phosphorylase, this enzyme can break the bonds between two glucose in the linear chain. Glycogen phosphorylase breaks one glucose molecule and adds one phosphate group to it releasing 1-glucose-1-phosphate. At first, the branch of the glycogen is broken down into glucose-1-phosphates and it happens until the branch is having 4-glucose molecules left. When 4-glucose molecule is left in the branching, then comes another enzyme that is a debranching enzyme. It has two components. One is 4-alpha-glucanotransferase. It transfers glycogen chain having three glucose in it from the branching to the linear chain. So now the branch has only one glucose attached in the 1,6 glycosidic bond with the linear chain of the glycogen. The 1,6 glycosidic bond of the branch is broken down by another component of the branching enzyme that is alpha 1,6 glycosidase. This is how the branch is first broken down into glucose 1-phosphate and then the linear chain of the glycogen is again broken down into more glucose 1-phosphates. So we have glucose 1-phosphate by breaking down the glycogen. Now this glucose 1-phosphate will be converted into glucose 6-phosphate by phosphoglucomutase. This enzyme transfers the phosphate group from first carbon of the glucose to the sixth carbon of the glucose. So we get glucose 6-phosphate at the end of glycogenolysis. But this product is utilized differently in case of liver and muscle cells. There is another enzyme which is present in liver but absent in muscles. And that enzyme converts glucose 6-phosphate to glucose. The name of the enzyme is glucose 6-phosphatase. This enzyme converts glucose 6-phosphate into glucose in the liver cells. So the liver can convert the glycogen into glucose and increase the blood glucose level. But this particular enzyme glucose 6-phosphate is absent in muscle cells. So muscle cannot convert the glucose 6-phosphate to glucose molecules. So instead, the muscle uses this glucose 6-phosphate by itself. Glucose 6-phosphate in muscle cells goes through glycolysis process to make energy. That energy is utilized by the muscle cells when we are on the fasting mode, that is, we are not eating any food. This is it for the glycogenolysis process and you can get the full page photographs in the Facebook and Instagram links. Thank you.